my spooky scary skeletons it's glowing real life and welcome back to another episode of my Halloween spectacular today I am super excited because I'm going to see the brand new Halloween this movie just came out this past Friday and I've heard some really good things about it so I'm pretty excited let's go watch waited for him. So I saw the original 1978 Halloween pretty recently, like a few weeks ago, and I'm just going to say I loved it. I thought it was a really fun, scary movie to watch that really gets you in the Halloween spirit. But uh, I know at the time it was pretty groundbreaking because we had never seen a killer that just wouldn't stop and wouldn't die and just no matter what would keep on killing. Uh, but we've seen that a lot now because it's 2018 and there's been a lot of horror movies since 1978. And watching it now recently knowing horror movies, I'm, it's a little silly because the main character just does some silly things like she leaves the knife right next to the killer or always is turning her back or even not running away when she totally should be which made it a little silly and sometimes a little frustrating when you're yelling at the TV screen of no don't go in there the killers right there but uh it was really just still a fun movie and I was excited to see how that would compare to movies nowadays where we've seen that so many times. I wonder if they were going to keep that in or put a new spin on that kind of scare. He's waited for this night. He's waited for me. So, Halloween 2018. I'm just going to say it. It was fantastic. I totally loved it. It was directed by David Gordon Green and it starred Jamie Lee Curtis playing her role from 40 years ago, oh my gosh, uh, of Laurie Strode. And she was so awesome. In the original Halloween, she was a little bit of a damsel in distress and was making some silly choices as I've talked about, but this time, oh no. She was ready, she was prepared, she was kick butt. It was pretty awesome. She had been waiting her whole life for Michael to come back and when he did, she was prepared. She was ready to kick some butt. Do you know that I pray every night that he would escape? What the hell did you do that for? So I can kill him. Jamie Lee Curtis kicked butt in this movie, but there were also the two other protagonists who were totally awesome, strong female characters that also kicked butt. Judy Greer and Andy Matichok were so cool. Even in the beginning of the movie, the character is shown winning an academic award and later she has some trouble with her boyfriend but she was strong about it not a total airhead and she was a teenage girl like me and that was really nice to see that I mean I could win an academic award if I had problems with my boyfriend I could stand up for myself and if I was getting chased by a serial killer I could deal with it um, and that was really nice to see, and I really enjoyed that they included that aspect and kind of broke the stereotypes of slasher movies. So finally, I want to talk about some basic movie stuff. Uh, first up, we have the cinematography, and you guys know I'm a total nerd for cinematography. I loved, they had tons of really interesting shots. I thought were so cool and really just took the movie to a new level. Something I was so excited about is that they kind of had parallel shots where something would happen in the 
original Halloween movie that they kind of showed again in this Halloween movie and I really liked that because yes they're telling a new story with this movie but they're still going back to their roots and it's really nice because people who really know the Halloween movie can be like that was in the first one that shot was in the first one and it really just was so cool to see then of course there's the music everyone knows that the Halloween music is so iconic for people that probably haven't even seen Halloween know the music from Halloween because it is extremely extremely stressful music but what I liked about this movie is that yes they use the original it stresses me out even just singing it but they also put their own little spin on it and I thought it was really cool I don't want to give away spoilers you're just gonna have to go see it for yourself but it's really awesome don't believe in the boogeyman <laughs> He's here! Michael! You should. So, overall, I loved the new Halloween. It was fantastic, and if I had to pick between the original and the new one, I'd probably go with the new one. Don't get me wrong, the original is fantastic because they're introducing the story, and it's a total classic. But I really like what they did with this new one, so you're going to have to go see it. It is rated R because obviously there's a lot of violence, because it's a slasher movie and there's a lot of killing. So, uh, yeah. But overall, I think it's really good. It's a very good movie to see before Halloween, or on Halloween. Get some friends and then be careful when you're trick-or-treating. Look out for Michael. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a spooky video just like this one. I will see you all next time. Don't forget to stay spooky. Bye! Can you close the closet door?